Hey there, it's Katie. So this is going to be my plan with me for the week of New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a kit. This is a Caress Press full kit. I think in the past I've only used Caress Press mini kits and also their monthly kit I used for December. But anyway, um, so here are the full boxes, the functional sheet, um, some sidebar kind of stuff, and labels and half boxes, headers and little things, uh, full box checklists, washi, and date covers. You can see I already put the dates um, on the corresponding days. And then sidebar stuff and deco. So. I'm definitely going to be color blocking it because that's kind of how the headers are set up. And I think I'm going to use the full box checklist rather than the checklist flags. Because um, I like these. I like that they have white space in them so it doesn't look too cluttered or anything. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get started by putting down the headers and then I'll go off camera for that and then I'll come back and we'll get started. Okay, so those headers are done, so now I'm going to go ahead and just pop in the date covers. Since this one here is kind of tall, I apologize if you're hearing my heater, by the way, um, but since this one here is tall, which is kind of annoying, I'm just going to end up layering some um, deco over that. But let's see. I think I'll put in this little flag here first. There we go, that covers that up pretty easily. Okay, and I'm once again going to go off camera and just put in the uh, checklists. I'm going to do it color, coordinate, color coordinating across so they kind of match the headers. Okay, so that's done. I realized I did not need a box here because we're going to be driving six hours that day, so that's pretty much the whole day there. Um, so I have two of these left, and I don't know which one I want to use in the sidebar, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on the sidebar now. Um, so I'm going to get started with this box here in the top corner of that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of do my usual formula for the sidebar. So I'll start off with some of this pretty gold washi here, or maybe, maybe this floral one. Take a couple pieces of that. And put that in right underneath there. And I'll grab one of the dinner the dinner plans header there. And one of these schedule weekly boxes here. Should I do the black? I think I'll do the black. And then some more washi. I'll do two pieces of the gold, brushed gold kind of one here. And I'll put in the, let's see, to clean header. And I think should I stick with the black and just kind of, I think that'll make it kind of cohesive. So I think I'll do that. And then I think I just barely have enough space to put in my habit trackers. 
if I can find them. Here they are. I think I might just go straight into putting them down. Because they have their own like header space, so I don't really feel like I need to put something above that necessarily. I'm actually going to pull this up and put in the This Week header there instead. And it's going to look really bad, but I promise it'll be okay. Because <laughs> it always pulls up there. But the new header is going to cover it anyway. So. Cool. I think that's perfect. I like the kind of um, black and gold thing going on there. Alright, awesome. So now I'm going to actually go day by day. And I don't know if I want to keep color blocking. There are only eight half boxes, so I probably could. But anyway, I'm going to get started. I'm going to get started with the full boxes. So of course I'm going to use this for the weekend. And... I'm going to use this one for Friday because I'm going out to dinner that night. Which leaves four to choose from for the other days. I think I might put this black one kind of here in the middle. So in that case I don't really want to color block it any more than I already have. Necessarily. I'm just going to go ahead and put the ones down here that I know I want to use for this half of the week. Cool. So all of those full boxes are in and now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the stickers for this half of the week. Um, I guess I can put it in the bottom washi, but I think I'll do that at the end of this portion. So I have lots of half boxes to use. There are eight of them, so I want to make sure that I have two to use on this day. But then I should be fine to do one every day. Um, what, which one do I want? I think I'll use this one with the biggest branchy kind of one here. And I don't know specifically what's going to be going I don't know specifically what's going to be going on um, that day. I'll still be at my parents' house, so I'm not really gonna have like errands or stuff to run probably. Um, I might just use that to mark that I have to get ready to leave, and I think I'll pull in, uh, I think I'll pull in one of these flags here. something over it. I'm not sure what yet though. I think I'll just grab one of my Fox and Pip Girls. I do have lots of them obviously so I suspect maybe, maybe my mom and I will go out to pick up food or something or maybe we'll, we'll have to run an errand or whatever. So I think I'll put her down that. This is the Anna sticker, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, so then Tuesday, I'm going to do something similar to what I did last week. I don't want to show you right now because I'll screw up the frame, but maybe if I feel like it before I finish filming, I'll show you. Um, I'll put a sideways 
half box there and then layer something over it to kind of mark that that whole portion of the, the first bit of the day is going to be um, the drive. So I think I'll put this little car sticker there and then I'll layer something else over here. I feel like I need a traveling girl and I'm thinking actually the most appropriate that I have I'm thinking I'm thinking the most appropriate that I have might be this um Fox and Pip. I think I think her name is Janelle. I know that she was a custom for Plan with Jan, whose videos I love. That looks very cute. And then the rest of that day is going to be pretty relaxed because we'll be very tired from the drive. I'm going to put in another half box here. And a label above that. I think I'll go with this black one here for some contrast. I feel like that's a little bit crooked, but I can't actually tell for sure. Okay, well it's, too, it's not worth the trouble to pull that up for it being off like a hair. So, yeah, I don't really know what's going to be going on that day. I'm sure we'll order in dinner or something. Um, and then... For Wednesday, I'll just kind of do the same thing. And then the bottom washi. I think this is just so lovely. So on to the second half of the week. So I'm going to rotate this to put in the full boxes. I think I'll just do all of them again. I really enjoy the way that that looks with that kind of double, it's not really a double box I guess, it's, um, I don't know, that goes across both days. So throughout all of this, Hanukkah is still going on, I believe the final night of Hanukkah is this night right here, the 31st. It said up here that the last day of Hanukkah is there, but um, the holiday happens in the evening, and I believe it happens at sundown this evening, so it technically goes until sundown on Sunday. So, I'm hoping that makes sense. <laughs> so I'll do the bottom washi here. I'm really not a like New Year's Eve person, first of all, because I don't like crowds and I don't like drunk people. Not to say that I don't occasionally like to uh, partake in alcoholic beverages, but I just don't enjoy being around people who are drunk. I feel like it's not the same height on either side. Weird, because it looks like it's the same distance from the bottom boxes. Looks fine anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm not really a New Year's person, per se, um, but... So my husband and I won't, won't actually go out on New Year's Eve, and we'll just stay in with champagne, and... Yeah. But we are going to be going out for dinner that night, so that will be nice. So anyway, Thursday 
think Thursday is probably going to be kind of a cleaning day, so I'll put in this gold half box. I think toward the bottom half of that box. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you've probably seen me use this Must Dust Girl in at least one of them. I'm going to put her on the edge there like that. Um, or I think I want to pull her up, push her up a little bit. So yeah, I don't know. I just don't really buy into the whole like New Year thing. I think it's kind of like wherever you go, there you are. I mean, uh... I'm not suddenly going to become a person who like enjoys going to the gym just because it's January. Um, so I don't know, I don't know, it's just the only thing that changes is the calendar and I have trouble, I don't know, getting excited about it because of that. It, it's just, I just don't, I'm not enthusiastic about New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. When we lived in, we lived in New York City, my husband and, and me, um, I, excuse me. My husband and I lived in New York City for a few years as we went to college there. Um, and we never went to Times Square or anything because first of all, if you live in New York City, you know that you don't really want to spend time there. Uh, it's not like pleasant. <laughs> um, but also just because I don't know, I don't even, I don't even enjoy watching the ball like drop on TV. Never mind, but like in person, it's just exhausting. Um, just the crowds and everything, and it's not really very exciting to begin with. It doesn't like nothing explodes. I mean, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't excite me. So I'm kind of a killjoy about holidays a lot of the time. I think. Sorry. <laughs> um, So yeah, on this night we're going to go out on a like date. That's one of my husband's Hanukkah gifts. I don't necessarily usually enjoy going out to dinner because I have food allergies, which makes it kind of stressful for me to go out to eat. So, but he he likes to eat out and he likes to go see movies. So one of his Hanukkah gifts is that we're going to have a date night. We're going to um, go out to dinner at a nice Italian restaurant where I know I can eat the food, and then we're going to go see a movie. So I think I'll put in one of these labels to write in which movie we go see. That would mean it's kind of a bummer not to use my Fox and Pip movie date sticker. I think I will do that. Put that there. And I'll kind of put the date night sticker. I don't mind covering up the today header there. Like that. And I can write in the name of the movie we go see there. Oh, I do want to try to fit in the payday sticker too, though. I think I can probably just put that. I'm gonna just put that like here because it actually he gets. This is my husband's payday. My paydays are much more sporadic, but he gets paid like at midnight on Friday, so it's a direct deposit situation. So I'll just put that there. Um. Okay. I think I'll put this little planner sticker here. So Saturday is the last night of Hanukkah. So I'll put in a label to mark that. And we do, um, give each other a gift each night of Hanukkah, which is really fun. And then that night we will just probably watch a movie or something or some TV at home and drink champagne and make a nice dinner. 
but I have some really, really, really cute Fox and Pip stickers for this. The Kiss at Midnight sticker here. So I'll put one of those. I'll put in the a label down here so I'm not, so I know that I'm blocking out enough space. And maybe, I think, yeah, I'll put in on these flags over here. Just because that way I know what's going where, and then I don't have to worry about taking up too much space with this. And the little midnight clock. So cute, I love that. Okay. And what else? I don't know, I feel like I'm not being very chatty, and I don't know why. I'm like in a very good mood, so I, sh I feel like I should be chatty. Um, I don't know. Oh, oh, the weekend banner. Okay. I'll put this down here. I think that's very, very pretty. Okay. And uh, there is plenty of deco um, from the kit. Sort of do want to like put in a little champagne glass there. I might put in this cute uh, pillow love girl on Sunday or no. I have a different one that I want to use. No pants, no problem. So cute, okay. But yeah, I think, I don't know, I don't know why I'm so scrambled. I'm planning this way in advance, so that's part of why. Um, because it's actually Wednesday of the, the previous week. So I can't even really show you how the spread has turned out since it's this day right here. But, um, I think this is such a pretty spread, and look at, that's a world of difference, those two weeks in a row. This is also Caress Press. Obviously this is Caress Press, and I'll also be using a Caress Press kit in my first week in my Kate Spade planner, which I'm so excited to film, probably tomorrow. So I think when you're seeing this, I'll put that up the very next day. And I should also have a uh, haul going up the same week, so maybe Thursday, I guess? But yeah, okay. So, I don't know. I don't know um, if I'm forgetting anything. I guess I'll pull in some Clever Gal craft stickers. I think those two colors there look pretty good with this kit. As does that one there. So yeah, okay. I think I have plenty to pick from. Do you hear a, do you hear that knocking noise? It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> I don't I don't like noises. So yeah, I think that's it for stickers, and now, I don't know, I think I might just leave this blank for now because I'm doing this quite far in advance, and I don't want to write stuff down and not have it be what actually happens. That kind of makes me sad when that happens, um, but there are some things I know I can fill in, so I'll do that.
so yeah I do think that's all I can fill out for right now I don't I just don't want to like commit to stuff or whatever right now but um, I love the way that the spread looks and I just love the contrast between this week and the current week now like the Christmas week and then New Year's week I think both are so so pretty and they just show like how versatile one shop can be um, as usual I just loved working with this caress press paper but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please um, subscribe or consider subscribing or giving me a thumbs up or whatever. I just would love to know that people are watching. Talk to you in the next one. Bye!